Ever since I started drifting with my 350Z, I've been searching for the perfect shifter setup for the car. And I think I finally found it with this setup I put together from racing. But today we're gonna get it all installed in the 350Z and find out if this truly is the best shifter setup for drifting. So when I initially modified the interior on the 350Z, my whole goal was to have a good balance of form and function. I wanted the interior to look really good and I was kind of going for this OEM plus style. Obviously, if you were looking at the car and you see bride seats and whatnot in the car, you're gonna know it's, it's modified, but it looks like a package that could have come from Nissan in theory. And then obviously the function of it for drifting. The, the idea was to get some bucket seats that had good bolstering that would hold me in place when I'm at the track the harnesses for at the track. The quick release steering wheel comes out, makes it easier to get in and out of the seat. So everything was very intentional with this car. And at the time I did upgrade the shift knob, but I've just kind of grown tired of the metal shift knob that's in there. And the shift boot itself is really worn out and looks pretty dingy. So I want to get this whole setup upgraded today. And ever since I started drifting this car, I had been looking for some sort of solution that would put the shift knob a little bit higher up and closer to the steering wheel. So when you're taking your hand off the wheel to make a gear change, that transition time between on and off the wheel is much quicker. So I decided to go with the extender max, which is the taller of the two shift knob extenders and then the traction shift knob as well as the shift boot retainer just to tie it all together. So one of the things that I really like on this setup that I just want to take a second to call out is that the attention to detail here, this little screw at the top actually is what allows you to make sure you can adjust for the engraving to be in the perfect position that you want. So you just screw that screw to the left or the right to get the shift knob to turn more or less and have it be perfectly lined up. All right, I cannot get over how good this shifter setup looks in the car. Obviously I want to perform and feel good in hand, but I'm huge on aesthetics and this just goes so well with the rest of the interior. It has that kind of like race car look to it that just fits perfectly with the brides and the quick release and everything else we've done in this interior. But I'm super curious to see how it feels. It definitely got up closer to the steering wheel like I wanted and I have to imagine this thing's just gonna feel awesome. That has to be one of the best looking shift knob setups I've ever seen. And it feels great. I've always loved the feel of the CD009 and this just seems to make it even that much better. Like this is one of the heaviest shift knobs I've ever felt. And I think just that little extra bit of leverage up top really creates a smooth shift. I'm very curious to see how it feels when we're driving it. And it did exactly what I wanted of getting the shifter up closer to the steering wheel so that those transitions from steering wheel to making a gear change on track can happen quicker. But most importantly, we gotta see how this thing feels. So we're gonna take this thing out on the road, get a feel for it while driving, and determine once and for all if this truly is the best shift knob setup for a street driven drift car.
I had absolutely no idea I could be so excited about a shift knob setup, but that racing setup that we just put in the 350Z is hands down my favorite shifter and shift knob setup that I've ever felt in any manual car. I really like nice stuff. I saw racing getting hyped up everywhere all over YouTube and had to check it out for myself. But I think after today, we can definitively say that that setup is definitely the best setup for a street driven drift car. If you wanna know more about the interior of my 350Z and the mods that I've done to get it looking like it does today, I put two videos up on the screen here for you to check out that I go in depth covering that process of the interior update on this car. So check those out. I'd love to know what you think and it does help me greatly if you guys watch those videos. But until next time, peace out and I'll see you soon.